ready. You ready to go into a new location, to a new place? Okay, so you're not bothered. <laughs> no, just all about that ball. So we are just about to arrive at a hotel I booked, which was Chateau du Rouchecode. And um, by all accounts, it has amazing reviews. And I think I'm going to be treated like the queen here because it's a chateau. And I reckon it's going to be really nice. What do you reckon? I don't know. It might be. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see, won't we? We will. Let's see. How's the organised packing going? It's, it's not going very well. Mm. How much stress it causes me. <laughs> Mess. <laughs> exploring this fabulous place it's just insane it is just absolutely beautiful just feel like we are in some sort of period drama and um, getting to see how they lived back in the day it's just fabulous they've just kept the authenticity of the place so well but we're just gonna take a little sneak through here because Danny has got a very exciting call with Circle today. And um, he set up in the reception there, they're giving him some Wi-Fi. Uh, excuse my hair, <laughs> I've been for a massage in the dungeon, which was fabulous, but it's left me looking a little bit greasy. Anyway, back to it. We're just gonna pop through here and we're just gonna show you where Danny is doing his call because this is pretty cool. There we go. So I'll we'll come in here. Just coming around here. And there he is. So, <laughs> me and Freddy are in our castle where everyone has already fallen in love with Freddy, haven't they? And we are just sitting outside, having the best time. Cannot recommend this hotel enough. They do everything they can to try and help. It's just been awesome, hasn't it, Fred? I feel like the queen. Just think all, all we're missing is perhaps some robes and some crowns, but the staff really have gone out their way to look after us. And it's just beautiful. It's just spectacular. Um, couldn't have asked for more, really. Perfect. Just look at this. So this park is a part of the hotel. And it's just full of deer. So Freddie and I have just come out for a walk. And just here behind us, is a baby deer which is pretty awesome Unfortunately, just a little bit chilly today, but here is the outdoor pool. 
which is basically overlooking the castle. So I got some pretty cool video of you in a castle on a video call. <laughs> yes, I had a top secret uh, meeting. Uh, it was it's, it's a potentially really exciting opportunity. So basically, without saying too much, it's going into the schools to uh, offer our level two and level three um, PT qualifications. Yeah. So that's what the call was about, was just talking with the director of sport. Um, this will be the first time that we've done anything like this, and the first time they've done anything like it as well. So let's wait and see, but we've got a lot of work to do over the next couple of days to get this prepared, because I think the students pick their curriculum uh, next Monday. Yeah. So really, really tight on time, but let's, uh, let's see what we can get done. and. Hopefully, a, a really big opportunity for us. Yeah, and how are you finding working while travelling? <laughs> really want me to say on camera? <laughs> how was it? It's really, really difficult. If I'm honest, the, the biggest issue with travelling and working is internet. Yeah. Everything that I do is online. Yeah. And you know, everything I have to download things daily and upload stuff. So that's a big challenge because we've. We've not had good internet so far in the last two weeks, so yeah, uh, it's something that we need to work on. Yeah, it's um, and I need to dedicate sort of more specific time to it. I need to forget I'm, I'm not on holiday. Yeah, I know a lot of people think I'm on holiday. I'm not. Yeah, I've uh, kind of blended traveling and work and, and Ironman training together here. What do you, what are you saying, Freddie? Freddie? Anything to add? No. You're not on holiday either, are you? Working really yes, hard. Yes, he is. <laughs>